Hello and welcome to today's video. I know it's been a little while since the last time I posted, so I do appreciate you guys still being here, but I wanted to start in on some Christmas festivities. So today we have these cute little Christmas icons here, and I wanted to draw some pictures inspired by them. I think all of them are going to be witches, but I haven't 100% decided that. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on Santa Claus here. Now I started sketching out what I wanted her to look like. This one will be a witch. And then I moved over the Santa just for reference here. So I didn't have to keep flipping back and forth. So I created him his own layer so that I could have him on top of my image to use right and just like right in front of my face. <laughs> Better reference for right in front of my face. <laughs> So I did have to expand the, what is it, the canvas a few times because my sketch just kept running off and rather instead of making my sketch smaller, I decided we're just going to go with a big file today to make sure everything looks smooth and fantastic. So here I did use a reference that I got off of Pinterest of this witch on her broom and I thought it would be perfect for Santa because if Santa was a witch I'm pretty sure he'd be flying through the sky 99% of the time along with his reindeer friend or friends <laughs> and so here I'm just sketching in the basic anatomy trying to decide where I want everything to go and then I start layering on the outfit on top of that and I definitely wanted to keep a lot of Santa Claus-esque kind of clothing in here. So I decided to add some fluff around the witch's hat. And then I put it around her wrist as well. And then added a cute little Santa belt and buttons to her shirt here. And in this part, I wasn't really sure what to do because usually witches would, we, would be wearing dresses but I wanted to keep to the Santa Claus masculine fill so I decided on a way to make it look kind of like a dress but still kept the pant vibe if you know what I mean so I ended up just doing like a peplum top with her and it looked amazing and then I made the buckle a little moon so that we can add in some more of the witchy aesthetic to it Okay, and then I'm just drawing in that peplum. I'm using my fun little curve cheat that helps me put in the ruffles and then drawing in her bottoms. And then I did the same thing. I did ankle boots with the fluff around her ankles, just like her wrists, trying to keep as close to the traditional Santa Claus as I possibly can. Okay, and as I was drawing her wand here, I thought it would be so much fun to make it a candy cane just to bring in a lot more of those Christmas elements um, rather than just a traditional wand. Now, I feel like I should have made the bottom of it a little more pointed because at this point it looks like she's just holding the candy cane. Um, but I add in a couple of things near the end that help kind of help out with the one image I guess you could say <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying here and uh, let's just help it make help it look a little bit more like a one okay and then from here I start adding a few more ele elements like her face uh, making sure everything is in proportion and I give her the black pointed witchy boots with all of the laces um, just because I wanted again to merge together Santa and the witch aesthetic and then I was starting to um, go into the final image so what I do with my sketches I will lo just lower the opacity and then I start drawing in the line art and when it comes to line art I do like to use colored line art I think I've talked about this in another video um, just to help it look more cohesive because sometimes the black is just way too harsh for the image and it sticks out and looks kind of weird. Um, so here I decided to use red because the majority of her clothing is going to be red. 
Um, so I just wanted to make sure that the liner blended in a little bit better and didn't stick out as much because that's just not the style that I'm going for. There are instances where the black liner actually looks really, really nice, um, but it's just not what I was going for with this picture. And then here I added some fluff around her neck, kind of like a scarf, and I put a cute little turtleneck underneath that um, just to help with the look. I didn't didn't have a super specific reason as to why, but I just really like the way that the turtleneck looked underneath the fluffy collar. And then as I'm going on and doing the line art, I do make some changes here and there just to make sure ever, everything is looking good, make sure everything that is correct or as correct as I can draw it at this moment in time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then the hair is just so much fun to draw and then I'm adding in her witch hat here I love all the squigglies on the hair um, Just because my liner is super shaky and so it's easier for me to draw the curves than it is for The straight edge lines, so that's why I like drawing things like the hair and the fluff And I am noticing now that that belt is super crooked, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine <laughs> And then we're just going to move on to the rest of that. So here I start making some corrections to that candy cane because I didn't really have the angle of it right. And then I'm just going back and forth between the sketch layer and my line art layer um, just to redraw and make sure that I have it in the correct position or where it looks more natural. And then just using the same color, I don't worry about switching between colors because I'm already switching between the layers, um, but that just helps me with the final line art to make sure everything is where I want it to go. And then I'm just zooming out and taking a look at it, making sure that I have, again, correct proportions and everything is looking really good. Um, and then here I'm finally uh, <laughs> naming my layers. I definitely recommend naming these as you go. Um, but sometimes I get so far into it that I'm getting lost and then I finally name them. That is not a very good practice. I do not follow that example. <laughs> Just name your layers, please. <laughs> and then I start painting in the skin here. I used the selection tool to make it a little bit faster. The only problem is that it makes the line art look kind of weird because it's pixelated around the line art. It's not as smooth. And I was going to color in her hands like a skin color, but then I decided if she's flying outside and it's winter, then her hands are going to get cold. And so we should probably give her some gloves. And then rather than adding extra line art, I actually just ended up pretending like they connected to the fluffy part on her sleeve. And so you'll see me color that red later on here. Um, but I'm just using the selection tool again, just because this is such a large area that it's a lot faster. And then I'm going to go back in and 
fix up the edges and the line art um, just to make sure that it's smooth because it leaves like weird little pockets of no color and it makes the line art look kind of rough. And then here we're just coloring in the uh, fluff on her shirt. Yeah, I don't don't have a whole lot to say <laughs> say about it, except for that we made it nice and fluffy. <laughs> and then you can see the fluff that I added to her hat, her witch's hat, which I really really love. Maybe I'll try to make a hat like that one day because it looks really really fun. And. Yeah, that's that's a lot of the coloring. It took me a little while to figure out what hair color I wanted her to have because I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be white because then that would just blend in with the white around her neck, which ironically is there to mimic the beard. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's it's kind of there to mimic. The it would it would fit if she had white hair, but I think I think I end up doing silver hair, which is which is fine. And then here I'm just adding in these little details. I actually really like the red line art with the black, um, just because it helps it stick out and it doesn't blend in. If this was black line art, then it'd be a lot harder to see it. And then I also like the contrasting details. It almost makes it look like she has red shoelaces and red thread. I thought was super fun and then when I was coloring her hair silver I couldn't see it with a great background so that's why I had to change the background here but I needed to change it anyways because I was going to have the background kind of be like the sky with the moon and everything and so we would need a bluish color for that anyways and yeah so I'm just coloring on her hair here the I was using the selection tool but then I started just outlining the area that I wanted to color and then filling it in with the paint bucket and then going through and filling in these little pieces that were missed because it turned out to be a lot faster than the selection tool because I only had to worry about the one edge and not every single line that the selection tool could not get. So yeah and then I just went through here and colored in the candy cane. You can see that I gave her those red gloves which I really love that you can see her fingernails through. I just think it adds to that witchy aesthetic and it looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, and then most of the picture is just that same white and red. And I fill in all of the base colors before I go back through and do the shading. So that's why you don't see any uh, shading or highlights yet. Because I like to do the base colors first. And then that way I can do a clipping mask on top of it and I don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines again. <laughs>
now it is time for those little details. And so I go back and create that clipping mask and I start coloring in the facial features. I like to do the dark upper lip and then I give her green eyes because of course Christmas is red and green and she didn't, she didn't have any green yet. So I give her the green eyes and some green eyeshadow just to bring that in, which I thought looked really, really fun. Man, I need different words because I say really, really fun and really, really cool way too much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I just go in on that clipping mask. I start adding in the highlights first and then I go through and do the shadows. Now looking at this after, I feel like the shadows could have been a lot darker. Um, I can kind of see where I was going for a more natural shadowy look. <laughs> that was descriptive. Um, but yeah, so I just blend that out and then I use the smudge tool. So I paint it in with the airbrush tool so it's nice and soft already and then I go in with the smudge tool to make it look softer and yeah and then I tried doing like red on the cheeks because I have this thing where I forget to add color to the skin I just do whites and browns and then they kind of look a little pasty and <laughs> not very lively so I tried to add in some rosy cheeks in there because Santa is known for his rosy cheeks at least that's what they say in the songs and yeah it, it kind of worked out but I think it needed to have a dark color and then I just went ahead and started adding in the shadows now she is gonna have the moon behind her so that's something I had to keep in mind while I was painting these in um, exactly where it would be covered and what would be showing so most of the darker areas would be centered because the light would be coming in around the edges since the um, light was light sources behind her so yeah and I think I could have done a little bit better on that with the torso but sometimes it was hard to tell with that area <laughs> Um, and then I just do the same thing with the black. So I think I've talked about this before too, is when I do blacks, I actually do a really dark gray and then I don't use black, black. And so I start doing the shadows. And then something that helps your picture look more lively is when you color in white instead of using just gray, because that can make it look really flat and dull. You can use colors like yellow or light blue, which is what I used here and even purple so anything that it's reflecting um i could have used a little bit of yellow because the moon's light would have been yellow um i think the blue tied in really nicely there and then i almost forgot about the broom so, so i kind of had to go back in and um color that in you know but it was kind of hard because the more i worked on it the more it started to look like hair and i was like okay well she's got a broom made out of elf's hair or something <laughs> who knows and then I forgot about the button so I had to go back in and do the buttons and then I started doing the highlights um, which are always fun and now it is time for the background so I was just using some I don't know the splatter brush I think is what it was called and it kind of looked like stars and you know the little magical specky things and then we didn't want the sky to be flat, so I started adding in some darker colors and then making sure that it was light around, well, where the light's coming from. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Sorry. It's, it's kind of hard to describe what's going on here because, like, you can, you can see what's going on here. But, yeah. <laughs> and then I just... I tried blending it out like I do in Procreate, but it just was not working. So I ended up just using the gradient tool and that took some practice to get used to because I have not used the gradient tool in a really long time. And yeah, so that's just what I'm messing with here is gradient tool, then I changed the moon color. I also used the gradient on the moon to make it look more rounded and not so flat. Um, and then I came in and did some more of the highlights and fixing up some line art that was missed. <laughs> oh man, her eyes though look real creepy. I'm going to have to fix that. I don't think that that, that translated well. 
Uh, overall though, I really like the picture here and I wrote in happy holidays and um, trying my best with cursive. I don't use cursive that much. <laughs> So you'll see it come in and out and then I tried using the type tool, which is a lot better It looks more professional and a lot nicer and then the computers are better at cursive than me anyways, so. <laughs> Yeah, but overall I think it was a really good picture. It was a lot of fun to do. I like the concept of the Santa witch um, especially with the witchcraft coming into I guess trend it's becoming more popular and so if they ever, you know, decided to let witches take over Christmas, this is, this is what I think Santa would look like. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. I really do appreciate it. I, there are going to be some changes to the channel. Um, so just make sure that you are subscribed so that you can see what's coming up. And then I will also be doing a vlogmas. So yeah, don't miss out on that and give this video a big thumbs up if you like the idea of Santa Witch or if you just like and appreciate the time and effort that it takes to draw. So see you guys next time.